Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Ju from Happiness and Crafting. So today I've got a really easy project for you. It's using the um, packaging out of your boxes, Amazon boxes or any boxes that you have. Um, and we are going to make it into some gift wrap, um, which is so simple. I've got, I've just stamped it with some lovely Christmas stamps that I've got here. These are just in um, stays on ink, black stays on ink. So you can do it in any colours you like. Um, so really simple, really, really simple. And this is what I've made. I've made some like little gift bags. Now, easy peasy. Um, and I've made some, I've just added a little bit of string to the top, a little bell, a little tag with a little peg, um, and it's made into a gift bag. So, so simple. This one, I've made a tag out of it. Um, another gift bag, a little bit of colourful string on there, wrapped around. I haven't done this one up. I will just fold that over and stick it down or staple it. Um, this one here, I've just added a little bit of string and some ribbon. And again, I've just left it open like that. Um, so we can pop a little gift in there and close it up. And another one here. So these bags are so simple and the tags to go with them. Easy peasy and they are lovely. And again, you can just use them to wrap a present. You don't have to make them into the bags, um, but they are such a good way. It doesn't have to be Christmas. It can be birthdays or anniversaries or anything like that. Whatever stamps you've got, you can just use, make them into little bags or gift wrap. Now, I'm going to show you what I did. I'm going to pop these to the side. Now, I've got my um, Amazon packaging. I just roll it up. Now, I have ironed this one because I wanted it flat. Oh, I made a little one like this as well. that You could put sort of like sweeties or something in it. Um, so, yes, I've just ironed mine and I just roll it up onto a like a, a gift wrap roll. Um, so I'm just going to take a section off. Now, I'm going to just cut it to a sort of like... Um, piece that it's easy to to use easy to handle um, and stamp on so it's not too big i'm just going to quickly flip this over like that i hope this isn't going blurry so i'm going to pop these stamps down now these stamps i've got i've had these for a long time so this first one is daisy and dandelion clear stamp so they're a christmasy one which are lovely this one i really don't know where it came from I'm really not sure, um, but it's a really nice. So any Christmas stamps that you've got um, will do. So I've just taken a couple. I've got one on here already. You can see how grubby it all is, which is this one here. So I'm going to use that first. Again, like I said, you can just stamp it on any colours you like. But I've just picked stays on um, because you know um, if you wanted to colour it or anything like that, you could do that without it all smudging so all as i done all as i did i've taken it and i've just randomly stamped all over the paper just like that so this is quite a nice one to do to get you in the crafty mood and a sort of like again a sort of like a bit of a no-brainer project for you and it's quite nice well, you can have a think of what you're going to be buying people for Christmas or making or what you're going to be cooking. You can do this at the same time. So just stamp all these all over. Nice and random. Again, you can use, um, if you've got any good stays on, the coloured stays on, you can use as well. Um, so if you've got reds and greens or anything like that, so I'm going to use that one. Let's get rid of that one. Pop that to the side. And let's have another one. Now this one has got some little snowflakes on it, so I think I might just use that one for a minute. Pop that on there. Stays on. So you could just have these little ones just go on here like that just in between which are nice aren't they just little ones again you can probably use stencils on here as well so if you've got any nice christmas stencils you could just stencil them on 
but this is so quick and easy. There's no waiting for anything to dry. You can just get on with it straight away. And that's what I like. So pop these on. Now I need something in between because I want to quite sort of like fill it up so it's not too bare. Let's have this little little spotty one as well, just like that. You could pop actually a little bit of glitter on it as well. A little bit of shiny. Just like this. Doesn't take any time at all to do either. So sorry if I'm out of shot on some of these. So let's just stick these on. Okay, so that will do just to give you an idea of what it's like. So how simple was that? So you can make lots of these up. Or if you've run out of gift wrap, this is perfect. Just pop um, some stamping on there. Or again, I said you can do some stenciling on it. So now what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to cut... Let's have a look. I think I might actually cut this way. Just cut the section off like this because I've got the Christmas words going this way. So what I would I'll pop that over there. So really we want to fold the bag. If we're going to make a bag we need to sort of fold it this way don't we? So they're the right way. So make a big bag, a little bag, fold it over like that going to make quite a big one actually I think just like that I'm going to cut this little bit off like that so that will be the size of your bag doesn't matter if it's wibbly wobbly that's a whole part of being handmade so what I'm going to do quickly pop a little bit of glue down the inside of that one and this one here, fold that over and that just sticks down nicely so that's going to be the front of your bag like that so we've got a nice big Merry Christmas in the middle which is quite nice isn't it so for the bottom just fold it up like that and what I'm going to do I'm going to just snip the corners like that and just cut off this first bit here just snip that piece off because we don't need that like that get those bits out of the way and we're just going to pop a little bit of glue on here and there's your little bag perfect so that's the top so there we are how easy was that so we can fold this over or what I thought we could do we could just pop little holes in there and there I'm going to pop some string through here like this so you can have all sorts of things hanging off them so whatever color scheme you're using just use that and you don't you can use all sorts of things bits of tinsel and Christmas decoration so what I'm going to do I'm going to just tie that like that now I've got a few bits and pieces in here okay so I've got little bells and all sorts in here and I've got some fabric so what I'm going to do I'm just going to tie that in a knot not in a knot we'll just tie it pop that across I'm going to pop a couple of bits of this actually oh I've got a bit of celery silk there that will do another piece of this just like that 
and then I'm going to tie this in a bow like that. So that gives you your lovely little tassely bow. And how simple is that? And I think that looks really nice and really quick. So there's no tying bows or anything like that with the fabric. He just does it on his own, just like that. And what we can do, we can have a little bell hanging off. Because I like bells at Christmas. Just like that. And I'm going to thread that up through there. And just tie that in a knot. Like that. So that will hang down. So that's your lovely little embellished bag there. Now I'm going to make a tag with this as well. So let's just pop that over there. This is the leftover piece that we had. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to fold it in three, just like that. Pop that across. Let's just see if we can get that a little bit closer, just like that. Going to just snip that so it's a little bit level. Get my glue stick. Piece of paper stuck to it. We don't want that, do we? Oops. Stick that down. Folding it in three, it just makes it a little bit thicker. So let's just make sure we have this straightish. That's better, isn't it? Cut that like that. The other ones I did sew around, but you don't have to at all. Now I'm going to just pop a little hole in there. Now I've also got these lovely little shiny. These are die cuts from some mirror board and I think that looks nice just stuck on there. Gives it a little bit of little bit of shine to it. Like that. Just stick a little bit of glue on. There we go. Stick it like that. So these sort of like styles would look nice as well with Sort of like little bits of twig on it and things like that, sort of like very rustic. So that's your little tag. Again, actually, what I might do, I'm going to cut this little bell off and I'm going to attach it to the tag. Oops. Let's put a bit of colour around the edge. Just put a little ink the edge, just a little bit. You can put some gesso on here as well if you wanted to. So it looks a bit snowy. But I quite like them like this. Just like that. And pop this on with the bell. That hangs off there and then do the same, just pop that on there. Tie oops that in a little knot. Like that. So that's your little tag you can write on and a little bell. So I think these are lovely. So then you could just pop whatever you like inside. Um, and then you've got you just wrap it in a little bit of tissue paper, pop it inside, you've got this beautiful little um, simple, easy and quick gift bag um, made out of just some recycled paper. So there we go guys, how easy was that? Um, which I think these are lovely. You can have them nice and Christmassy, you can have them nice and rustic, have a little bit of bling on them but I think they are gorgeous. Alright guys, well thank you so much for joining me, I hope you're all safe and well and I will see you next time. Alright guys, take care, bye bye.